Did you know why Mesopotamia is called Mesopotamia? Or did you know where writing was invented? Did you know which was the first big empire in world history? Let's find out in today's video. My name is Kumar Varun. Welcome to the first episode of World History 101. Let's go. Once upon a time, way back around 5000 BC, there was a place called Sumer. It was what we now call Iraq. Imagine this place as a big garden with two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates flowing through it. That's why it's also known as Mesopotamia. Now the word Mesopotamia comes from ancient Greek from the root word Mesos which means middle or between and Potomas which means river. So land between rivers, land between two rivers and hence Mesopotamia. In Sumer there were farmers. They were smart and hard-working people who had figured out how to grow lots of food like grain and other crops because primarily the land was super fertile from the two rivers. Now the advantage of having so much food is that they didn't have to wander around looking for meals like their ancestors. So they could stay at one place, they could stay put and build homes which led in some sense to the birth of civilization. These Sumerians were not just good at farming, they were also great traders. They exchanged their extra food with people from faraway lands like present day Pakistan and Afghanistan. In return, they got cool stuff like metals and tools. As time went on, these farmers got even smarter. They started building canals and ditches to control the flooding of their land. They worked hard and by 3000 BC, big cities started propping up in Sumer. One of the biggest cities was called Ur and it was like a bustling beehive with 40,000 people buzzing around. But what really set Sumer apart was something special. They invented writing. Initial purpose was they, so that they could keep track of things like who owned what and what they were trading. But at first, they drew pictures to tell stories. But soon, they made up a system of little shapes pressed into clay tablets. We now call this system cuneiform, which means wedge shape in Latin. Cuneus in Latin means wedge. The Sumerians were not just good at writing, they were smart about organizing too. They set up rules for their cities with judges and laws to keep things fair. They made cool things like wheeled carts for traveling and pottery wheels for crafting pots. They even built giant temples called ziggurats. Uh, the idea of which was that these are staircases to the heavens and they are still present in today's world and in fact that architecture inspires buildings to this day. Then came Sargon, the king of Akkad, who was a big deal at this point in human history because what he did was he united all the Sumerian cities under his rule and made a huge empire that stretched from roughly current day Syria to the Persian Gulf. It is widely considered to be the world's first big empire. But like all good stories, there were ups and downs. Sargon's empire didn't last forever. It fell apart around 2200 BC. And then after a bit of chaos, the kings of Ur stepped up and brought order back to Sumer. They even conquered Akkad. But the drama, of course, didn't stop there. The Elamites, who lived to the east of Sumer, invaded and destroyed Ur around 2000 BC. Then came the Amorites who would eventually establish the grand city-state of Babylon. But we'll come to Babylon later. And that's the story of Sumer, the land between two rivers, where the world's first great civilization began. And that's why people call it the cradle of civilization. Sumer's glory days may have faded, but its legacy lived on in the stories and inventions that shaped the world. It's a story of clever farmers, bustling cities, mighty empires, and the rise and fall of kingdoms. Thank you so much for listening or watching the first episode of World History 101. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please, if you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. If you're listening it to, on a podcast platform, please subscribe to the podcast and review it. Uh, and we will maybe try and cover the whole history of the world with one short interesting episode at a time. Thank you so much.